So 7D says find the equation of a straight, the straight line that passes through the points 0 minus 7 and 9 comma 0. Well, um, what I've done actually is I've gone to Desmos and I've plotted my two points and I've just taken a little snap of this and I put that into my Active Studio Inspire. Okay, so these are the two points that you've got. And uh, if you're not sure how to do this, come up with some quick axes in your book. And uh, you don't have to put, in, put on all the numbers, but just roughly lay it out and put your two points on there. And then you can put in a straight line between here and here. So that's the line which you're looking for. In fact, it goes beyond those two. So it goes through and beyond those. this line. OK. And now if I, let's just change, change the color. Now I need to work out the gradient between those two points. So here we go. I can make any size triangle. I'm going to make this triangle here, and I'm going to need uh, I'm going to need to count the number of squares up. So that's my rise. So that's four. I need to count my squares across. So that's also four. So that's my run. And so my gradient, which is m, hopefully you're aware that that's what we call it is our rise divided by our run, which is divided by four, which is equal to one, of course. Right? So the gradient of this line is one. Now I could have made a smaller triangle there. It's just as long as I choose two nice points, I will always get the same answer in that case. Right. I also know in this case that C, where it crosses the axis, is here. So that's our y-axis intercept. And I can see that that's minus nine. OK, so when I put that all together, I've got y equals mx plus c. OK, and I can see then that m is equal to 1. So 1x is the same as x and c is plus minus 9. But plus or minus is the same as just minus c. So there's our equation of our line. We've got y equals x minus 9. I'm just going to check that. So I'm going to go back to Desmos. So this is Desmos online graphing calculator is really useful. And uh, in fact, I've already done that. I've typed in here y equals x minus 9. And if I just show that, there we go. We've got the line written in there. OK, guys, uh, if you want to just have a play around with this, this is y equals, uh, let's do mx plus c. If we add sliders for these things. We can see what happens when we change m and when we change c. So, for example, if we change C to minus 9, there we go. You can see that the line is going down there, and there we go, it's equal to minus 9. It's the same line, in fact, because the gradient M is 1. If we make the gradient 2, there we go. If we make the gradient 2, which is 1, it's going to get exactly on 2, then you can see it still goes through minus 9, but now for every 1 you go across, it goes up 2. That's gradient. For every 1 you go across, it goes up 2 instead. OK, thanks for listening um, and keep asking questions, OK?